हेलो स्टूडेंट्स मैं आपके साथ हूँ स्टैंडर्ड सेवन का ज्योग्राफी लेसन नंबर नाइन एग्रीकल्चर इस लेसन की एक्सरसाइज लेकर क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट है सिलेक्ट द प्रॉपर ऑप्शन फॉर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स फर्स्ट है इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग टाइप ऑफ द फार्मिंग आर द क्रॉप रोटेटेड करेक्ट आंसर है इंटेंसिव सेकेंड क्वेश्चन एग्रीकल्चर रिक्वायर्स द फॉलोइंग आंसर है यूज ऑफ एनिमल्स implements machines and manpower question 3 in india agriculture has developed because correct answer hai in india factors like climate soils water etc are conducive question 4 it is necessary that modern method and technology be used in agriculture in india because answer hai population is growing and there are agro based industries question 2 hai give short answer for the following questions usme first hai describe the importance of irrigation for agriculture the monsoon in india is seasonal it is highly variable and dips distribution is quite uneven A regular supply of water is essential for the growth of crops. Supplying water to the crops artificially is called irrigation. The ground water is obtained for irrigational purpose by digging wells, bore wells, ponds, etc. This water is supplied to the farms with the help of channels or by using electric pumps. With various techniques of irrigation facilities crops are grown on a large scale. Question 2 Give a comparative accounts of any two method of irrigation. Well irrigation, canal irrigation, tank irrigation etc are some of the method of irrigation. Dekho well irrigation and canal irrigation. In this type of irrigation the ground water is obtained by digging well bore well etc the dams are constructed on the rivers the stored water in the dams is supplied to the surrounding regions with the help of the canals comparatively less area is required for digging wells comparatively a vast area is required for constructing dams wells are owned by people therefore water in the well can be used easily and flexibly dams are owned by government therefore water in the dams may not be used easily and flexibly well irrigation is comparatively less costly canal irrigation is comparatively more costly question 3 mention the major type of farming and give information about intensive farming and extensive grain farming intensive farming and extensive farming are the major type of farming the information on intensive farming and extensive farming is as follows intensive farming a type of farming in which maximum production is obtained from a minimum area is called intensive farming The following are the main features of intensive farming. Intensive farming is a subtype of subsistence farming. This type of farming is mostly seen in developing regions. Farm production is sufficient only for the requirement of the family. In this type of farming, the cultivator and his family are totally depends on farming. Beside the carrots vegetables are also grown to some extent intensive farming hai abhi a type of farming in which maximum production is obtained from a large farm area is called extensive farming the following are the main feature of extensive farming extensive farming is a sub type of commercial farming Farm size in this farming is greater than 200 hectares. Due to the large farm size, 
and pairs population this type of farming is carried out with the help of machines like tractors and crushers pesticides are sprayed with the help of helicopters or planes monocrops single crops cultivation is the striking characteristics of this type of farming the main crops like wheat and other crops like barley oats soybeans etc are grown in this type of farming in this type of farming herb expenditure are needed purchase of machinery fertilizer pesticide transportation etc thus this type of farming requires heavy capital investment this type of farming is carried out in the temperate grassland regions question 4 hai describe the characteristics of plantation farming the characteristics of plantation farming are as follows first in nature plantation farming is sub type of commercial farming the farm size in plantation farming is between 40 hectares and 200 hectares it is practiced in hilly tracts therefore the use of machines is not possible as its effect the local manpower become important crops are grown this type of farming is a single crop farming this type of farming does not produce food grains only commercial crops like tea rubber coffee coconuts etc are planted beginnings and spread this type of farming began and spread mostly during the colonial period it is practiced in the tropics This type of farming is practiced in India and other South Asian countries, Africa, South and Central America, etc. Subtypes: horticular and floriculars are the subtypes of plantation farming. Horticular, a variety of native and exotic fruits, are grown. In floriculture, a variety of flowers are grown on a large scale. capital investment this type of farming requires a large scale capital investment due to long duration of crops the use of scientific method exportable production processing etc problems variations in climates storage of manpower deterioration of the environment economic and managerial problems are some of the major problems faced by this type of farming Fine number hai. Which are the crops cultivated in your area? Which are the geographical reasons for that? The major crops that are cultivated in our area are rice, coconut, mango, jackfruit, etc. Geographical reasons: high temperature, high humidity, high rainfall, and alluvial soil are the favorable factors for the growth of rice. These climate conditions prevails in Kokan region. coconut mango jackfruit etc also requires some climate conditions therefore these fruits are largely grown in kokan region question 6 say what is the agriculture in india seasonal in nature what are the difficulties for perennial agriculture answer the reasons for the seasonal nature of agriculture in india are as follows Most of the farming in India is depends on the monsoon. Monsoon is a seasonal in India. It rains only in the month of June, July, August and September in India. The rainfall is highly variable and its distribution is quite uneven in India. The difficulties for perennial agriculture in India are as follows. Non availability of regular water supply throughout the year. variation in climate conditions lack of capital lack of transportation and storage facilities lack of marketing facilities thanks for watching video iyatta satvicha marathi semi ani ingraji ya madhyamancha sarv vishayancha swathyacha nav navin video sathi channel la subscribe nakki kara like kara comment kara ani varga mitranna share kara